These splicing videos are intended to show the techniques involved in splicing Samson high-performance ropes. Some repetitive sequences have been edited for time. Watch the video to become familiar with the individual steps of the splice. When performing the splice, follow Samson's written instructions for the step-by-step -step procedure. Written instructions at samsonrope.com. This splice procedure has been developed and tested for use with Samson Class II products only. Class II ropes are produced with high modulus fibers, HMPE, Aramid, LCP, or PBO. These fibers are often referred to by their trade names, Dyneema, Technora, Vectron, and Xylon. Instructions for this splice can be downloaded as an Acrobat PDF file from samsonrope.com and are also available in print form in the Samson Splicing Manual. The eye splice is used to form a permanent eye or loop in the end of the rope for attachment to a fixed point like a cleat or mooring bollard. An eye is also used to form the rope around a thimble to protect the rope when attaching to a shackle, chain, or wire rope. Eye-to-eye -eye splices can also be used to join two ropes. This splice may be performed on either new or used rope. By following the procedure shown, 90 to 100% of new rope strength is retained. In used ropes, 90 to 100% of the residual strength is also retained. In splicing, the basic measurement is a fid length. A fid length is 21 times the diameter of the rope. For this demonstration, we're using a tubular fid sized for the diameter of rope we're splicing. Start the splice by taping the end of the rope and making the marks as shown in the illustration. Make mark 1 one fid length from the taped end of the rope. Mark 2 is made two fid lengths from Mark 1. Form the desired size of the eye and make Mark 3 adjacent to Mark 2. For a smoother transition at the end of the splice, the end of the rope is tapered by removing strands. First, mark the strands to be removed. Starting at Mark 1, mark one left and one right hand strand. Skip the next left and right strand and mark the following pair. Skip another set of strands and mark the next two. Remove the tape from the end of the rope and pull out all six of the marked strands. It helps to hold the rope as shown here to keep the other strands from unbraiding. Pull them completely from the rope's braid. Using scissors or a very sharp knife, cut the pulled strands off close to the remaining braid. Retape the end of the rope. Measure four fid lengths from Mark 3 and make Mark 4. Attach the tapered tail to the fid. Tape it securely. Now insert the fid into the rope at mark 3. Open the braid to make inserting the fid easier. Be careful to insert the fid between strands without snagging. Push the fid completely into the rope. The fid is moved along through the rope by pushing the fid into the rope with one hand 
and alternately smoothing the rope over and off the rear of the fid with the other hand. Be careful not to twist the rope as it is moved through. Continue until the fit is beyond mark 4, and bring the fit out between the strands. Pull the fit completely out until the tapered tail is fully exposed. Smooth the rope from mark 4 towards mark 3 until marks 2 and 3 converge. Tape the throat of the eye to keep marks 2 and 3 from moving. At mark 4, pull the tail out several inches. Remove the fid and any tape that still remains. Now, complete the taper. From the end of the tail, mark three consecutive strands. Pull them out and cut off. Smooth the splice area from mark 3 to mark 4. The tail should disappear into the rope. Continue to smooth the rope from the eye completely through the splice area until all slack has been removed. Remove the tape at mark 3. The final step in this splice is to lock stitch the splice. The video instructions for lock stitching are available as PDF files for download from the Samson website at samsonrope.com. Lock stitching is also covered in the Samson splicing manual.